backlash. What is backlash? Really? Let's take a look. If you just have a mount here and it's just tracking and you don't have any guiding, then they say the backlash in the right dimension isn't going to be obvious, very obvious or you won't be able to see much of it because the backlash is when the the mount changes the um, turning of the mount changes direction like when it wants to um, compensate the movement from going one way to the other way I'm gonna show you on my uh, Skywatcher mount here because it has the gears exposed nicely um, okay so this is the uh, declination um, <coughs> motor housing on my uh, Skywatcher EQM35 mount and this wheel that we see here is to the um, worm gear shaft driving the worm wheel which is underneath here somewhere or I guess right, right inside the, the white part here and the gears that you see here is um, connecting it to the motor <coughs> driving this and when we have a backlash error what is that? well basically you see this these, between this um, gear and the smaller one there you can see when I pull the manual lever here on the axis see there's a little bit of wiggle room there a little wiggle that means <coughs> that the gear meshing between this wheel and the other wheel isn't perfect and it's really hard to make these perfect because well they can't really be perfect there are solutions to this mechanical solutions uh, or uh, attempt to to make it better but anyway what it is is that the the teeth on these can't actually be it's not perfectly um, um, meshed up <clears throat> and it means that if you're tracking one way of the mount um, the gears on the motor will basically just push this along and it all looks perfect but if my guiding tells me that I need to stop or go the other way because I've gone too far then it needs to stop this and it needs to turn it the other way and if I've been turning one way here for a while and then it, I need to um, compensate for this low motion before I will actually start turning the mount the other way and again we have technology and solutions for this basically what you can do is that you have the guiding system <coughs> try to compensate for this by running the mount one way and then stopping and turning it the other way and it will basically measure for how long does it take before the mount starts moving in the opposite direction more or less and it, by measuring the how long it takes for it to <coughs> start moving in the other way it knows how much it will add to its calculated motions um, to compensate for that if it needs to change direction if we only need, ever need to sh go in one direction then it doesn't matter you won't see backlash in if you don't use guiding for instance or not really because you're only tracking in one <coughs> one direction so you're only ever just pushing uh, these gears are only pushing that gear and there's nothing ever um, to have it going to, to have it going like this because it only happens if you are changing direction yeah <clears throat> there's some other tricks to, to solve this or to counter this this little error that we'll look in a minute here so 